All right, we're here at the start of a Dead Man's Pass Trail. We're going to go ahead and do this with the TJ, the Xterra, and the K5. We've got the Croatian Mafia here, so don't fuck with us. And uh, we just got finished airing down. Okay. All the O's are here. Oh, yeah. Marco. Yeah, Davo. Miro. Miro. Zio. Zio, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can add an O. Pop All the doggos are here, right? Uh -oh. All the O's. All right, you can see how gonna go up there on the uh, mountain there to get to the top of Dead Man's Pass. So we've already gotten through the forest section, which you know took all of six or seven minutes. Uh, no real serious obstacle there. But anyhow, I'll just give you a second of driving. Opa! So you can see the hiking trail there. That's the remainder of Dead Man's Pass. You can see how it takes you up there. Gonna get you up on top of those two peaks. From where we're sitting now, I'd say it's a good another two or three miles. Might be worth doing depending on how much time you have up here. The uh, ski lifts over there, that's Mammoth. It's right Lake Crowley down there. You can see the Mammoth Airport. There you can see looking out over Hot Creek. All right, you can see Amiro and Marco up in front of us there, but you can see kind of how this ridge looks up when you're up here, or how this ridge looks when you're up here. See, there's a nice uh, meadow and a valley back there. Don't have the name of that handy. Like I said, the whole point of a little video like this is just to show you how pretty it is up here so you'll take the time to come up here or, you know, give yourself four hours when you're up in Mammoth. 